Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Man, I am super excited about what we're doing today. We have the SanDisk Ultra 512 gigabyte SSD drive. Yes, this is my third SSD drive that we are installing into the Alienware War R7. And man, uh, I am definitely using this strictly for gaming. So, but before we get into this video, um, definitely take a look at our Patreon page if you want to continue to support what we're doing. It's a great way to do it. Also, follow us on all forms of social media. And if you really love the channel and you want to continue to see what we do, don't forget to hit that bell. Hit the bell so you can receive all the notifications of our uploads that we do every Wednesday now. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. We love you. We thank you for everything that you do. And let's get into the video. All right, guys, what we have here today is, again, the SanDisk Ultra 3D SSD drive, 512 gigabytes. We have 560 megabytes per second for the read speed and 530 megabytes per second for the write speed. And uh, this is my third SSD drive that's going into the Alienware War R7. And let's go ahead and get the case taken off on the side. All right, so now that we got a side and open, this right here um, is my uh, Samsung Evo uh, 860. And, uh, and definitely what we're gonna be doing is actually putting the SanDisk over into the other uh, hard drive bay that we have open. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and get the swing open. So we'll take a look at the inside of the system. And uh, what we got here, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the, uh, the set disk. So as you can see, real thin, real light, um, and it's, it's super light actually. All right, so what we're doing right now is actually taking the, uh, the actual bracket out and attach the clips. And as you can see, uh, there are holes uh, that's going to be on both sides that you can actually put slide those into and uh, just got to just make sure that you match them up uh, once you have those matched up then go ahead and put those in and once you got them in uh, they will actually secure the hard drive once you put it in so everything snaps in it's very convenient. Uh, these are 2.5 inch uh, bays uh, that we have. Same size that goes into uh, like laptops, stuff like that. Now this right here um, is a SATA 3 cable. Uh, and I believe uh, this is the actual, I don't know if that's a 21 inch cable um, or not. Uh, but definitely, uh, you don't need that long of a cable uh, to go inside this system. I just got it, you know, it's, it's always better to have more than not to have, you know, enough length. All right, guys, so what we're doing now, we are actually about to go ahead and unplug the power from the graphics card. And I'm just taking a look at some of the cables, um, some of the power cables that we have now. All right, now that we got the cables, uh, taking out the uh, graphics card, I actually ran into a little another issue here, so I'm going to go ahead and take the hard drive out. And it looks like uh, what we need to do is actually swap out um, the power cables uh, that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that and I'm going to kind of route, I'm going to swap it with the other portion, the other connector here, and then uh, we'll use the other end for the other hard drive. And I know, I know, cable management. All right, 
right, so you should have a open uh, SATA slot. It's gonna be right down the motherboard. It should be right there where you can just go ahead and plug in your SATA cable. It should click in. Um, and once that happens, uh, then you should be able to just route your, ca route your cables where they need to go. And I have the SATA cable that has the clips on them, um, so they won't pull out. Uh, you actually have to push down the clip in order for it to come out. And you will see the, as you can see, you can see the actual metal clips that's right there. I definitely prefer those. I prefer you get the metal clips. All right, so what we're gonna do from here, you're actually um, just gonna watch me uh, follow the rest of the cable through, uh, connect the power cables and connect the SATA cable to the hard drive. And you'll definitely see me also struggle a little bit here, but just get it the best way that you normally can. And I'll come back to you. So once you got everything uh, tight, everything is in there, cables are good, uh, you got your power cables in, uh, it looks good. Uh, from here, um, all we have to do is just go ahead and cut the computer on. So once you got your computer cut on, uh, it should go through the normal boot uh, process as normal. Nothing uh, should change in that regards. Um, you know, got the Alienware logo popping up. Uh, my system drilling boots uh, within about 20 and 24 seconds. Uh, but once it's up, uh, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into the actual disk management. All right, so you'll see a list of your hard drives, depending on how many you have in the screen here. And as you can see, um, you can actually get to disk management by going to the start menu, typing in disk management, hit enter. That'll pull this up. All right, so once you pull that up, now you should show your actual disk that you just installed. It says unallocated. In my case, it's disk four, so click on new simple volume. You're gonna go through the wizard, and you're gonna see the space default, leave as is, and go ahead and click on next. All right, so it's gonna automatically assign your drive letter. You could change this if you want to. Uh, click next. Then now uh, it's going to say NTFS. Um, you can actually change the volume label, the name of the hard drive. In this case, uh, like I said, I am making this change to make this just purely just a gaming hard drive. I want to install all of my games on the actual hard drive, on this SSD drive, so they can run a lot faster and also save me some space so I don't have to uh, use it on my uh, Evo, uh, my 970 Evo. Uh, so now, uh, we have that initialized, uh, yeah, the primary partition, um, it's going to say that, that's not my primary partition, but it's going to say primary partition, um, and now we're good to go. Uh, we can actually start using the hard drive now, it should show up in um, the uh, this PC list, and as you can see, um, you know, I got my hard drive listed, um, I got a total of three SSD drives. Um, and now what we're going to do is go ahead and run the actual benchmark uh, on a hard drive. I uh, definitely uh, just want to test out the actual uh, speeds here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose drive H. We're going to change this to one gigabyte. Uh, kind of do this a quick speed test. And let's just see what pops up, you know, what we're going to get. And like I said, we're supposed to get uh, the 560 uh, read speed, 530 write speed. And so, uh oh, okay, we got a problem. Uh, that's not supposed to say 284 for the read speed. And um, we definitely have to see exactly what may be going on. All right, guys, so I figured out uh, what the actual problem was. Uh, we actually, um, if you can see here, um, it's actually showing that is the slot four uh, for the SATA inputs. I actually had to swap that with uh, where the blue plug was, uh, which was for the one terabyte hard drive. So I swapped the cable because I'm not using one terabyte hard drive as uh, my boot device anymore. 
Um, so I swapped the cable so I could be able to get the full throughput uh, for the SSD drive. And um, hopefully that solves the issue. Um, you know, I did read on some of the forms that that, uh, you know, some of the slots uh, may be like a legacy type slot. And, um, you know, after, you know, looking at those slow speeds, uh, you know, because again, the drive is supposed to be doing at least um you know 500 so when it comes to the extra read speed and also the write speed so that alarmed me when i first saw that um but you know both drives are in uh, we're going to see exactly what happens i'm going to run another benchmark um and hopefully um it should run a lot faster uh, but we're going to test it out and uh, just stay tuned uh, because uh, we definitely uh, want to make sure that we get our money's worth Thank you for watching the video all the way through. <laughs> Wasn't that something? And man, you know, you run into all these different type of issues and problems along the way, but it was a mighty tiny issue. Who knew that the SATA slot was on there and ran a little bit slower than the rest of them? Go figure. Hey, we figured it out. We switched some things around, um, but definitely um, don't forget uh, to stay tuned to our next uploads. It's going to be coming up soon every Wednesday, and I'll see you in the next video.